Located in the heart of Bangkok's red light district, this museum tells you the history of the area and it is not what you think. I will take you on to the journey and we will discover the history of this place. From CIA agents to David Bowie, there is more to Bangkok's most notorious red light district than meets the eye. Today, we take you on a tour, showing you Patpong's 140-year history, from its humble beginnings as a banana plantation, to a high-powered business district and a hub of CIA activity during the Chinese Civil War and Vietnam War eras. In 2019, the Patpong Museum opened in Patpong Soi 2, Bangkok, Thailand. Once you step into the museum, the visit starts with a step back in time in 1882's China. We follow the story of the Patpong Dynasty founder, who immigrated to Siam and created a successful business that allowed him to buy the land where Patpong was built. Then his son, Udom Patpong Panit, who had studied in America, and worked for the Office of Strategic Services, which became the CIA, developed the area by constructing shop houses and inviting multinational companies to set up here. Companies like IBM, Shell, Air France and companies owned by the CIA soon established their offices in Patpong. Idly located, Patpong became a nerve center for covert operations during the Cold War period. With the economic outgrowth and the arrival of the American soldiers in Bangkok, Patpong became a significant place for business by day, but also for entertainment by night. The first go-go bar opened in 1969, quickly followed by many more. Soon, the district became famous as celebrities started to come party in Patpong. The second part of the exhibition is dedicated to Patpong's further development into one of the world's most famous entertainment areas and eventually red light districts. Superstars like David Bowie, Robert De Niro, and Christopher Walken visit and film in Patpong marking its presence in popular culture. There is also an interactive wall of fame that introduces you to the colorful characters that make up the area's rich history. Also, with its collection of pictures, videos, and newspaper articles, you can experience from the inside how the exposure and the celebrity of Patpong changed its image and made it enter pop culture. The 24 is the gang of five actually the head of CA, big, big one in mm -hmm. Patpong. And here's a funny thing. This girl, I think you know it. You Kendo? Know? Yeah, can the channel? Yeah, of course. It's a commercial Pepsi. I see. And oh, she he, was here. Right to see ping pong show, and ping pong hit her head. You know. Really? Oh no! Really? <laughs> From <laughs> hit her head. Oh, no, <laughs> that funny. is so bad. Funny. Yeah, that yeah. is, that is really quite funny. a story. There is also an interactive wall of fame that introduces you to the colorful characters that make up the area's rich history of the U.S. Marine and CIA agent Tony Poe, said to be the inspiration of Apocalypse Now Colonel Kurtz. What is it called? Apocalypse Now, guys. Right, right. Need to watch. In, in, uh, in the Philippines, mm. uh, that one in Thailand, in the Philippines, by... Uh, um, Malomando and the same uh, director, Francis Ford Coppola. I see. The, the one who made The Godfather. I see, Francis this, this, Coppola. Right. And this about 1,000 million US dollars to make this movie. The famous series on Netflix, The Serpent, also was part of the vibrant history of Patpong and is featured in the museum as well. So he used to hang out in Patpong, right, you're right, saying? Right, 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 in this bar. Mm. And in this yes. bar? Right, we go to the same bar. You've seen but, him before? But I don't know him because I don't, I don't know that he's killed. I see. Uh, that's almost 50 years, 19, 1976. Maybe you crossed paths with him but you didn't right, know. Right, right, right. Ticket costs 350 baht, which grants you access to the museum with a guided tour. 
as well as a drink at the fully operational bar housed within. The bar is a reincarnation of Patpong's original Grand Prix from 1969 to 1981, the very first go-go bar in Asia that birthed Patpong as we know it today. But due to displays of erotic artwork and some interactive games beyond this point, it's over 18s only. Oh, and what is this? This right. one is... Boys and lady boys. Which one is boys, a lady or right. which one is a... So People. this is an, another interactive spot right. where you <coughs> have to guess yeah. which right. women is a lady boy or mm. which one is Be not. Right, because Thailand the topmost of transgender in the world now. And very pretty, I yeah. would say. Right. Overall, the museum's silver lining is that it never falls into voyeurism or cliché. You can really understand why the Patpong area is under such fascination and interest. The Patpong Museum achieves its aim to show you that there is so much more behind what you usually know about Patpong. As a Thai person, the visit to Patpong Museum is truly an eye-opening experience. Despite its worldwide fame as Bangkok's top red light and nightlife district, Little is known about its history and how it has evolved with time to become the famous Patpong as it is known today. Apart from its dark side, there are many slices of Thai and world history that directly relate and link to Patpong which are very interesting and not widely known even among the locals. All in all, this is highly recommended for both locals and overseas tourists to Bangkok. Thank you for the tour. It has been really helpful and informative. And for our viewers, if you're interested, we will give you the information at the bottom of our video and you can visit for yourself. So this is a candle which they claim, allegedly, uh. they claim that um, it won't hurt you. And they have white and black and I'm gonna try for myself, I'm waiting for the candle to melt and I will let you know if it hurts or not. Oh, I'm a bit scared, but let's try. <sighs> okay, you know what? It does hurt a bit, actually. <laughs> but not that much. But it does hurt. <laughs> um.